my three top pond fishing baits august to september transition number three is the drop shot this to me is probably the one thing that will give me more success than anybody else on the planet when it comes to highly pressured water what this does is it gives me ability to work an area um, and people don't throw drop shots on super light line in these places they're used to seeing generic stuff and so going with that bitsy tube that bitsy worm on that super light line it's going to get you bit when nothing else will what you're gonna go with is you want a medium light rod. You're gonna go with 10 to 12 pound braid. You're gonna go with four pound leader material. I will also keep eight on me if possible. Going with that four though, it will always give you a couple more bites than anybody else because of how small it is. And then I'm gonna go, we're gonna go to the bait. Bait wise, the Z-Man Bitsy Tube the big bite bitsy tube or zoom worm i prefer green pumpkin in almost everything i'm doing because we're going with that bluegill is usually what's what the main forage is hook wise you're going to go with the smallest one aught ewg style hook possible because you want to prevent hang-ups especially for my pond anglers you don't have the ability to get the bait back usually if it gets snagged way out in the pond so going with that most snag proof uh, item really is going to help reduce your heartache and make it a lot easier for you to fish effectively Number two, Texas rig worm, specifically a swimming style worm. It's a jack of all trades. I can swim it, bounce bottom with it. The difference that I'm gonna do with pond is I'm gonna bite down the bait. Instead of going with a regular size worm, I'm gonna cut that sucker down half its size. So if you're dealing with a seven inch worm, really cut it down to three and a half inches, something like that. And then you can really adjust that depending on what's in your fishery. Worms I like to go with, Zoom Speed Worm, Zoom Power Worm, and also, of course, the Rage Tail. Because a lot of these places in that August, September timeframe, they still have tons of vegetation on it. They're still matted. They still have pond weed on them. Um, a lot of the ponds do. So I'm going with baits that give me maximum weedless ability. Number one, it's a fluke bait. I can fish this thing just like a frog on the surface. I can also take this bait and I can put a weighted EWG style hook on it, and I can fish that subsurface column. Colors, in the green pumpkin and the regular size zoom fluke, of course, the junior pearl white. Lastly, Yamamoto D-Shad. This is a game changer for you fluke guys, pond and creek guys out here, because this thing is extremely heavy. It's very, it's very dense, and so it has a better sink to it. I can get at least 12 more inches underneath the surface with a D shad than I can a zoom fluke. But if you try these three presentations, I really think you're gonna have success. Thanks again, like and subscribe, be safe out in the water, have a good time.